In today's video, we are building a $25,000 no game pass autumn cottage in Bloxburg and I just love the way it turned out. So I'm super excited to tour and build. Okay, so here's the exterior. I actually really, really love the exterior a lot. I think this is like my favorite part of the build. It just feels so cozy and yeah, and I love the colors together. I love the plants. So I'm very happy with the exterior. I think it's one of my favorites, honestly. Yeah, at least one of my favorite no game pass homes. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I love the plants, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the interior. So over here, we walk into our first room, which is our living room. And yeah, we have a nice fall painting. We have some bookshelves. Nothing too crazy, but... It's pretty cozy, I think. So then if you go over here to this door, we enter our first bathroom. Pretty nice, <laughs> pretty simple. I love these shelves though, I think they're so cool. So you also have a nice window for your plants. Look out at those while you go to the bathroom. Now we enter our kitchen and dining area. So here's our kitchen. I love these colors together. This is like a grayish kind of green. And then that brown, the pine cone is so pretty. So I love those colors. And you have enough space to cook your food and prepare your meals. So it's great to role play in. And then over here you have your dining table with some paintings. I thought these paintings fit like the autumn theme because they're like green and orange and yellow. So I just thought they like worked. Hopefully they do. So here's our first bedroom. You have your dresser so you can change. And then of course your bed and an alarm clock and some windows. So very simple but we were on a budget, so we were able to place all necessary items in a home. So, you know, that's great. So here's your second bedroom. I love the orange for autumn, not too much orange though. Yeah, just a little bit. So over here, you have your own personal bathroom. You have a shower for yourself and yeah, pretty nice. So yeah, I really like this build. The exterior is definitely my favorite. So I'm super happy with it and it just feels so cozy and awesome for autumn or like a starter house even. It doesn't even have to be like an autumn themed house. I just love it. So yeah, we're gonna get right into building and I had so much fun building it. So let's get started right now. Okay, so as you can see, game passes are off. So we are going to begin and we have to place the pillars first because it is a no game pass house. So we're using the plain pillars and we're gonna start four squares back, place one down and I'm coloring it white with the smooth plastic. Then I'm gonna copy that pillar, save that money and place one pillar two squares over and then go one back and then one to the right three, and then one back three, or up three, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and then to the left three, down one, to the left two, down one, <laughs> to the left two, up or back two, to the right two. So we have the first half all pillared up. <laughs> And then from this pillar right here, so from the halfway point, go back two, and then to the right two, back one, to the right one, to the right another one, and then down one, and then go over one, over two, to the right, and then up three, to the left one, down one, to the left two, to the left one, and then to the left three, down one, to the left three. We're just placing the pillars in each corner. Okay, so now we can place the walls. So we're placing the walls four squares back again. We're placing two right here. We're gonna color these walls cloudy gray. I love this color with the horizontal planks. And for the interior wall colors, I don't even know. I did not think this far ahead, but I think we're gonna go with mid gray. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're just gonna copy that wall once it's colored. So we're gonna place one up and then three to the right. And then of course, back three, six, nine, and then to the left, one, two, three, four, then down one, then to the left three, and then back towards us, three, five, seven, and then to the right two, and then back down two, right where we started. So that's it for the exterior walls, but let's go ahead and place the interior walls while we're at it. So we're gonna place one right here. Make sure they're colored mid gray. So this right here is going to be a bathroom. This right here is gonna be like a doorway to the other rooms. So this is going to be the living room, right? When you walk in, this is like the foyer. And and then over here is a dining area and this will be another doorway. Actually, this is gonna be a few doorways over here because this is gonna be a bedroom. Well, this will be another bedroom with its own bathroom and then this is the kitchen. So yeah, pretty solid layout, I would say. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. So we're gonna place the roof. We're using the gable roof, very easy to place. So make sure it's on manual placement and we're gonna start at this front pillar right here. Go all the way back to four, six, eight, wait, did I cut that right? Eight, nine, and then you can go over one and basically 
basically just fill out the entire right side like this so the roof should look like that i'm not gonna bother like resizing it it's gonna stay the way it is so i'm gonna color the roof dark stone gray with the brick material and then of course just match with your wall color and then the ceiling color we're gonna go with white with these ceiling tiles i'm sorry i've been using those a lot lately but i just think they're super nice i've been on a kick with those so now i'm gonna copy that roof now that it's colored we're gonna start at this point right here we're gonna go over three and then just go back two and then back over three like that so basically we're just adding in like another roof over here just for some like extra detail basically okay so now for the hole in the roof back here we're just gonna use the flat roof just to fill it in and then recolor it obviously so that's a little hack if you want to save some money which we're gonna do in this build okay so now we can place the windows so we're using these really cheap standard windows but these windows are like really nice for no game pass like small cottage homes so that's why i want to use them and i'm just coloring it like a seashell hue now i'm going to give it curtains so i'm going to give it these classic shutters i'm coloring them flint with the smooth plastic material and then the lining will be white with the smooth plastic material and then i'm going to copy that window place one right next to it and just kind of like adjust these a bit like that and then i'm going to copy that window and i'm placing one right over here love them now i'm going to grab a door i'm using this elegant window door because i think it matches with like a cottage look the outline will be colored white and then it's going to be colored like pine cone the door itself with the wood grain material because i just think that looks super nice yeah now i'm going to go to garden and i'm just going to quickly grab this wooden wall planter and then we're going to place that like above the door and just color it all white and while we're in garden i'm going to grab these wildflowers and i'm just going to place like two i'm going to color them orange though before we do that because this is like an autumn themed house i mean it doesn't have to be if you don't want to make it autumn themed but you could just make it like a summer home <laughs> so change the flower colors then <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna grab some wall trim we're gonna use this really tall crown molding like it's pretty tall but i think it also adds like really nice detail then i'm gonna use two baseboard wall trims so i'm using the tall flat one to begin and i'm placing that obviously on all the front walls now i'm gonna grab the short rail molding and we're gonna color it white and then we're gonna color it reddish brown with the brick material i think this is such a nice color and i think it's great for like fall and everything so yeah okay now we're gonna go to decoration real quick and we're gonna type in vent and i'm gonna grab this basic wall vent right here and i'm placing that in the top of this roof and then i'm coloring it white for some detail and then we're gonna get some light in here we're gonna grab a lamp we're gonna use this outdoor wall lamp right here and then place that right here on top of this roof and i'm coloring it linen and that's about it so yeah it's super cozy already i love it so now we just have to basically like place a floor down for the walkway you know i just realized that i forgot a garage um i always end up doing this so <laughs> um before we get to that let me just garden for a bit so i'm gonna like place some of these plants down and then um figure out what i'm gonna do <laughs> for the garage yeah so i'm placing some of these bushes i'm gonna do like some design over here i'm gonna grab like the blossoming bush and i'm gonna place that in the center of these two windows because i love these and then i'll have some plants over there i'll place another blossoming bush over here and i also really enjoy using these natural plants because i think they also look wonderful <laughs> so i will be placing these around i think we can outline this with the plain short fence but we just can't go right to like the doorway because of the pillars so we can replace those fences with these bushes instead such a lovely hack because who doesn't love bushes and flowers and plants okay guys so i figured out what we're gonna do so we're gonna copy this concrete floor and then we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna place it all the way back like two four six eight squares and then over three so a mini outdoor garage i'm just gonna like outline it with this fence and then like a plant <laughs> a plant i guess in this corner oh my gosh like a bush yeah okay <laughs> so there we go very easy very simple so okay i think that's it for our little yard okay so real quick i think we need a fence and this house definitely gives off picket fence vibes like i think this would be a perfect fence for this house so i'm gonna place this fence every other square all the way up to that pillar and i'm gonna alternate it with the deck railing i think these two fences go together so nice okay we can't place it over there because of no game passes so we're gonna do the same thing on this side i 
to move myself out of the way <laughs> and then just alternate these so every other square place them around moving myself on the driveway so nobody run me over please thank you we can't place anything over here because the pillar's in the way so i'm gonna grab a tree real quick and then we're gonna like fill in this area with the tree and we're gonna hope that nobody knows that there's a hole in our fence that looks totally normal <laughs> I'm gonna place another bush back there. <laughs> Okay, that's it. So yeah, cute little front cottage exterior. Nice plants. Okay, I like it. So we're gonna work on the interior now. So we're gonna place the floor real quick. I'm gonna place the floor only in the main rooms, basically. So like this room is going to get its own floor and same with this room because these are the bathrooms and I wanna make sure that they have like a marble floor because I love that texture for bathrooms. So we're gonna place the planks long material and then we're just gonna color it, I guess like pine color. I think that's a really nice color. We're gonna use like this dark shade of brown, I think, and we're just gonna place it over here for the other two bedrooms. So let's place down like a welcome mat over here. This is supposed to be like an autumn home and I'm placing down like a floral welcome mat. Oh well. <laughs> and then just like a simple hat stand. Nothing crazy, just something <laughs> for some decorations. Okay, so over here, we're gonna place a carpet, a normal carpet though. We're gonna use this round carpet and this will be the living room, like I said before. So would it be weird to place these curtains inside it might be but i kind of like them so i think we're gonna leave it so we're gonna place a table over here how about this rustic tv stand that's pretty easy <laughs> and then let's grab some chairs this stylish sofa kind of feels like a cottage couch i feel like i think we're gonna color it like cloudy gray and then that flint love those two colors those shades of green are so pretty i think and then I'm just gonna give this carpet a different material. This feels like a cottage design, like a design you would see in a cottage, if that makes sense. We're using a lot of flint and cloudy gray, if you couldn't tell in this build. I wanna use pine cone. Oh, it's already colored pine cone. And then the wood gray material for the TV stand. And then we'll use like flint. So yeah, let's grab a TV. Let's do this one, cause it's cheap. We have to save the money in this build. So in this cottage, I feel like we definitely need to place some plants because I feel like that's kind of what I'm going for with this. Kind of like a nature themed cottage, but it's like, you know, also autumn themed. So there's gonna be lots of plants and stuff. I feel like we should also place like a window over here. I'm even thinking like a bookshelf like one that you can place in the corner and then we just like color it white i guess we could like move this over i think we should place one on like both sides and then move that plant back basically just decorate these bookshelves with like paper and <laughs> books i guess i mean that's like pretty obvious don't go too crazy if you want to save money so just place like a few okay i just placed some decoration so now we definitely need a light so i'm gonna use this really really cheap lamp over here and we're just gonna place that down perfect and I I think we're gonna place a painting above this TV like that. <laughs> because <laughs> we might place wall trim at the end we have to wait to see how much money we have left over so i just feel like one more plant in this corner and then i'll be satisfied with this living room okay i think we're good with that room so over here we have to place a door for the bathroom so we're just gonna color it the same as like the front door basically the pine cone with that wood grain material and that's pretty much it and then over here all we have to do is just place a door frame so let's get this bathroom done with so we're gonna color the floor white and i want to use like a tile i think material these regular tiles are so nice so i think we're gonna go with those so i was thinking of placing the toilet right here in this corner oh where'd it go hello oh it's outside that's weird so the toilet will go right there and then this shower this basic shower set will go right here and i'm gonna color it i think flint and then the sink this industrial sink can go right over here in this corner and that's pretty much it actually i'm coloring the shower head like a gray sorry so now i'm just decorating the sink basically obviously with like the soap and everything and then and we need a towel down here as well and we definitely need some light in here so i think i'm gonna grab a candle i love using these scented candles and that's pretty much it and then we could go for a mirror we need to get some more like detail in here so why not go for this mirror and then let's color it like um flint that's perfect and over here all we need to add is basically like some toilet paper and then like a trash can just gonna move this over a little bit 
it so it's not in the way of your shower <laughs> you don't want the water to like go on you while you're going to the bathroom i was also thinking of placing these curved floating shelves right here so place those down color them white like the same as the pillars and then i was gonna place like shampoo and then like soap on them just for some like extra detail make your role plays even more fun <laughs> so just something simple like that i think that's a cool idea hopefully it's not like too tall i like this bathroom pretty simple but like you have your necessary items okay so next up we have to work on this area which is the dining room and the kitchen so i think we'll do the kitchen first so let's grab some counters we're using the really cheap counters because as you can see we're at nine thousand dollars uh yeah as always i'm running out of money so we're gonna use a cheap fridge again <laughs> and then of course we're gonna need a stove so we're gonna color i think the counters like pine cone <laughs> again with the wood grain material and then we're gonna go with cloudy gray and i'm gonna color like the top of the stone like i kind of want to color it flint <laughs> hopefully that makes sense yeah and then i'm just gonna place another like counter over here and yeah there we go <laughs> so i want to place like a kitchen sink i feel like people are gonna grill me if i don't place that you guys usually do so <laughs> we're gonna place some simple cabinets like nothing crazy just the regular like shaker cabinets we're just gonna color them like i guess cloudy gray again with the brown pine cone pretty cheap and i'm grabbing that window again so i'm not gonna place every appliance that's available in game i'll just place like the mic microwave because i feel like that's pretty necessary i feel like that's something you use often at least i do yeah so i'll place that i'll place a coffee maker people make coffee like every day so i don't i personally don't drink coffee really like ever i just don't really like it i'm like so picky and then here's some like utensils and over here we should grab like a towel and then we'll grab that um soap again from the bathroom so we don't have to recolor it and then like waste more money so we're gonna save some money so you can basically cook a lot of food on this counter over here so that's great so i think this is a sweet little light for a cottage i feel like this would look cool so i think we're gonna place that over here in this corner it's like a cozy little chandelier kind of thing and i'm just gonna grab this like plant and then we're placing that in this corner because it's a bit empty there we go simple kitchen kind of thing so over here this is our dining table so i'm using the simplicity table cheapest table we have and we're coloring it pine cone with the wood grain material and then we're just gonna use the log stool so we're gonna color it like cloudy gray and then i want to color this part i think like the orange because if you notice i'm using like hints of orange here and there like we had a little bit over here in this room nothing crazy just like in the books and stuff i'm actually gonna steal this like candle and place it there and then we're gonna steal this window again and there we go and let's just place like a painting on each side so detail okay that's easy enough but i do think i'm gonna place a pillar actually two of them i'm gonna place like two pillars in the center right over here because it feels kind of empty and i think i want to just like add something to it i feel like that looks normal right i think it does hopefully we'll go with it so let's copy this door right over here and we're gonna place that right there and then right here so this is our first bedroom so let's go place down a bed i think we'll use like the log single bed that feels very much like a cottage kind of bed so we'll use our pine cone again and then we're gonna use like that cloudy gray again so i think that's cool then we could grab like a little end table over here once again we're using like the pine cone and i'm gonna place down an alarm clock oh i didn't know we have a boom box that's cool so we can place a window over here like over the bed that's pretty cool and then maybe like one right there and we'll place a dresser over here as well we'll use this really small dresser okay so pretty cool i'm just gonna steal like those books that we use in the living room so we don't waste money we can save some money that way and then a little plant in this corner of course and i think we're gonna grab that light from the living room again we'll place that in this corner i'm actually gonna swap the lamp with the plant that kind of rhymes okay that was really simple so let's go over to our last bedroom so i'm placing this modern single bed right here in this corner once again we're gonna color the bed pine cone and then i want to go with orange actually we're gonna place a door frame over here instead and then we're gonna grab this industrial closet and we're placing that over here in this corner yeah i think this looks cool and then we can color it orange nice i like that so i'm also gonna place that window over here no shutters though and a painting because why not and yeah it's pretty dark 
so we're just gonna grab that candle again and we can actually place that right over here hopefully it doesn't burn like the clothes down though that wouldn't be good so anyway let's go place the toilet over in this corner and of course with the toilet comes the toilet paper and then the trash can we're also coloring the floor the same as that bathroom if you couldn't guess we're gonna use this like basic hygienic shower like right in this corner we're just gonna color it all like white and whatnot i guess so that it like matches the pillars in here okay and to make things easier we're copying this sink right over here but i'm just deleting that candle because we already have one and we can place one window in here so that's pretty much it so before we finish off i do want to place the wall trim like i promised in the beginning of the video so i'm gonna use the cheap flat crown molding and we're gonna place that on each wall and next we're gonna grab the flat baseboard from the exterior and we're gonna place that on the bottom walls at least the bottom walls that it will be visible on so like we don't have to place it on this wall we can save the money because we can't even see it so i'm just gonna place it on that wall and that's it so go ahead and do that and that's it so with 40 dollars to spare we completed our cottage house yay i love it i think it's so cozy thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you like this build it's a really cute cozy cottage great for autumn or just like any time of year i think it's really nice i love it oh there i am oops <laughs> jump scare so please let me know your thoughts on this build and let me know if you're gonna rebuild this so i will have new builds out this week get ready for those and i will see you in those videos so thank you all again love you guys bye